How's it going, everybody? Today we are checking out Fit for a King, times like this, featuring Jonathan Vigil from The Ghost Inside. I'm super stoked to check this out. I feel like most of the new singles from Fit for a King have been pretty solid. Um, I feel like the one that I probably revisited the least would have to be Reaper. Um, I feel like it's just a little bit too repetitive for me, even though that's kind of the point of the song. Um, I feel like it hasn't stuck with me as much as the others, but it could also be because, honestly... I just love a good clean chorus from Fifth for a King. I feel like that's where they're really strong. And um, that's kind of how I feel. Aside from, you know, some of their other heavy songs like Backbreaker and stuff like that. But I feel like the like clean choruses are just top notch. So I'm hoping I hear a little bit more of that. But I don't know. With the Ghost Inside having a feature in this, this might be a little bit heavier. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Epic opening. Tell you, man, clean choruses. Also, I apologize. I think there's a garbage truck outside my house, so sorry about that. <laughs> Already in the second chorus, okay. I feel like this may end up slamming. I'm waiting for it. Tasty solo. Some good woes. <laughs> okay, okay. We got ten seconds left. I'm waiting. Okay, we're ju we're just fading out. Sick. 
So, fifth for a king times like this. Yeah, this is another solid track. I'll say comparing this single to the rest of the singles I've heard so far, I'd say my favorite still probably has to be End the Other Side. And then I would probably pick either this one or Falling Through the Sky as my second favorite, and then Reaper is probably my least favorite. I'm, I'm going to say this like my semi-definitive ranking. Um, Falling Through the Sky and this one might kind of you know fluctuate a little bit. I think this one might be my second favorite now just because of Jonathan Vigil being in it. And, you know, I think his vocals are awesome. So having those in this track, I think, kind of elevated that a little bit. And I think it definitely elevated the breakdown. Because um, the breakdown was good, but, like, once he came in and they just kind of let everything breathe a little bit, you know, slow down on playing, like, the guitars and stuff, I felt like that was just... It was, it was tasty. I liked it. Um, chorus, very fit for a king. I mean, I feel like as of recent, like the last few albums, they pretty much stay within the same few styles of chorus. Um, you know, like two or three different variations. Um, they sound cool. I mean, they're always good. I don't, I don't think they can really write a bad chorus or anything, but um, it, it just feels very familiar. I mean, some people are going to love the familiarity factor, and I totally get it. Um, for me, it's not something I typically go to a whole lot, but you know, when I'm feeling fit for a king, I'll jam this. You know, there, there's no doubt about it. Um, yeah, I think like the drumming, Trey, oh man, I, I think he was like a really good addition to fit for a king. I think his drumming's really going to stand out, especially once this album comes out in full. I'm really excited to hear kind of what he does, if he does any like improvisations or anything of that sort. Um, cause it sounds like already in a lot of these singles, um, He's been kind of have he's been having a little bit more time to kind of do his own thing and throw in extra fills and stuff, you know, like any drummer should really. But um, you know, solid drumming from his end. Uh, you know, come on, vocals are always awesome. Ryan's a beast. Um, I don't have any cons with his vocals at all. Um, bass, dude, <laughs> you gotta you gotta spin the bass, man. Every time, it's just that's the fit for a king like standard, you know. Like, it's not fit for a king without a spinning bass in there somewhere. Um, I just want to know, like, what kind of straps he has. Like, what strap lock? Because that thing is made of, like, titanium. I don't know how it's holding. Um, and then guitars. You know, guitars are always solid. Um, I like the guitar solo. It wasn't anything too crazy, but I feel like it fit the song really well. And, you know, that's all you can really ask for. Um, but other than that, yeah, I think it was a solid track. I do think... Uh, and the other side is still my favorite single after kind of you know listening to them side to side but um yeah what'd you guys think about this track did you like it did you not like it leave a comment down below if you have any recommendations they leave that down below as well as always if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button subscribe hit that notification bell and as always you guys take it easy